All right, shalom. So it's Brother Kashukwala coming back at you with another lesson. Giving all glory, honor, and praises to you. How about Shimi Abishai? By Shimi Kapadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of the most holy rule and teach world. Peace, love, salutation to the 1144 first fruit. Uh, as you can see, I have the Australian, uh, the, the West Australian. Um, what is it? Pretty much news up right now on perfnow.com. Um, you see, I have this bug-eyed weirdo Jeff Bezos on the screen, billionaire bucko. Uh, he owns Amazon. Um, and pretty much this article is going into Gates and, and so Bill Gates and his foundation. And of course, Bezos and his foundation are investing in the Australian brain chip. So I do have a few other things like as in the, the Elon Musk Neuralink you know, up as well. We're going to talk a little bit about that as well because all of this is going into, into the uh, to the brain chip or else the, pretty much the mark of the beast, the RFID chip. These things are going to be implanted in people and uh, these things are what you call a miracle. They are, all right? Uh, the scriptures talk about things that haven't been seen. So these are left left-handed miracles that are happen, happening at the moment, you know what I'm saying? We're noticing this right before our eyes. So I'm gonna read a little bit of this because it's some good information. It says billionaires Bill Gates and Jeff Bezos have thrown their weight behind a potential life-changing perilous <clears throat> uh, treatment that lets patients control computers with their minds. Founded by Australian professors Tom Oxley and Nick Opie, New York-based uh, Synchron, announced on Friday it had closed a $110 million Series C funding round led by the ARC Ventures Partners with participation from Bezos Expeditions and Gates Frontier, all right? And it says uh, the, products have, uh, pro the product is a tiny device, probably the size of a grain of rice, all right? that have been implanted in blood vessels on the surface of the brain via the jugular vein. So the jugular vein is one of the main like artery, arteries or whatnot, or well, it's a vein, but because you have arteries and veins, but it's one of the main veins. It says undergoing um, clinical trials in the US and Australia. So they're already undergoing clinical trials, meaning they're doing this on actual humans says the, the procedure the procedure is minimal invasive which Mr. Opie thinks sets it apart from other products including Elon Musk Neuralink right so they're pretty much competitors to the Neuralink so just like you have the car industry you're going to have the brain chip industry you're going to have just like you had the jab industry with Johnson and Johnson and well, I don't know who the other fucking guys, whatever, but they're going against each other. Who can come out with the first quote unquote vaccine to cure CVID? It's the same thing that's going to be in this sense. Who's going to come up with the first chip to chip people? It says, we don't need to remove the scalp and skull or put electrodes directly into delicate brain tissues, he said, because uh, Elon Musk Neuralink, they, they literally open the skull and go into the brain and put the chip in the brain. It says, we have come up with a clever, because Esau is cunning, he's like a fox. And to be cunning, you have to be clever in a sense uh, uh, to make things seem as what they are and really aren't, I guess, if I'm saying that, if it makes sense. So they have to come up with a clever way in order to implant these into the public. All right, so this is just the beginning, but we're definitely here, and we're definitely experiencing one of the last prophecies. That's how you know we're at the very end. Um, it says a clever way of getting to the right place in the brain just by using the body's natural occurring highways and blood vessels. So just that statement alone right there, he's talking about a clever way to input the chip into the system. But also what he's saying, it's like a twofold clever, I guess, He's making it seem like it's not that bad of a procedure, which makes people more in tune or 
more want to do the procedure instead of Elon Musk's Neuralink where you have to go actually go into the scalp in the skull and cut open to get you brain tissue. People have a thought of, oh, if I just put a chip, it's like getting a shot, you know, or Elon Musk, you have to open my head and they're more, they're more prone to dying, which we're, again, I'm going to get to Elon Musk and how the, um, <clears throat> the Australian brain chip is quote unquote better than the Neuralink, even though they're both the mark. All right. So it says, uh, Mr. Opie said the procedure was quick and safe, was past tense, meaning, again, like you said, they're undergoing clinical trials. These are already being done, meaning patients have much faster recovery time. So four Australian uh, paralyzed individuals have been implanted with the device since, the first, since they were first treated in 2020. So they've been doing this for going on three years now. And now those same ones are controlling computers with their mind because of the, the chip that's in their blood vessel going to the brain. All right. Now, one thing that I, that I noted what he said, it says, and there are no serious device related effects. No serious effects. But there definitely, I'm sure, are effects. And one of those effects are, effects are scriptural, Revelation 16 and 2. It says, and when the first went and poured out his vial upon the earth, and there fell a noisome and, grie and grievous sore upon the men which had the mark of the beast and upon them which worshipped his image. So those ones who received that chip more than likely have a grievous sore on their body or developing one. Okay, it may not be serious now. It's definitely going to be serious later. So let's go back up to what he had said earlier. He says, we, we, uh, we don't need to remove the scalp to in, input this. So Elon Musk Neuralink uh, staff claim his demands to rush brain implant trials led to the needless deaths of 1,500 animals. So... They're kind of light years above Neuralink at the moment, especially with having two billionaires funding them or investing in them. Of course, they're going to get, you know, you know, a quicker head start when they have more funding behind them. But you can see the big top dogs, Gates, Bezos, Elon Musk are investing into the next wave, which is going to come down to all of these commoners across the world. All right. So his Neuralink chip, his brain chip is, is not it's not I guess you could say not doing the hottest, but his brain chip, Elon's brain chip requires you to go into the actual school and then implant it. So here's another one it says Elon Musk Neuralink should be disqualified from FDA approval for hack jobs by San Francisco neurosurgeon and we know neuro neurosurgeons are individuals who actually work and do surgery on the brain so if elon musk neuralink chip does happen to be successful neurosurgeons are going to be the ones implanting these chips into people it says who led staff that nullified data advocacy group says Right, who led staff. So there's a neurosurgeon who's pretty much boycotting the Neuralink more than likely because of this information. It's not good enough to be out in the public yet, you know, because the failed attempts on 1,500 animals, all right? So CNBC, so Elon Musk is making another kind of statement of what Tom Oxley and Nick Opie had said about their chip and how they process their thing. So they're saying we have come up with a clever way of getting to the right place in the brain just by using the body's natural occurring blood vessels. 
and he says it was it's a quick and safe procedure. He's selling, you can see he's selling the product. All right. It says that all these patients were able to control computers. All right. And he says they don't need to go into the scalpel skull directly. So he's selling the product in the sense of it's easy to do, it works, you can control things with your mind, you'll recover quicker than actually opening up your brain or your skull and inputting it directly into the brain and wasting valuable uh, brain tissue, all right? Now, Elon Musk is, is trying to sell the same thing with him saying Elon Musk shows off updates to his brain chip and says he's going to install one in himself when they are ready. This is kind of a move like back in 2020, 2021, whatever, when you know Johnson and Johnson and all these other companies came up with their with their jab. <clears throat> and then you see high profile celebrities have to make it a point to them getting recorded getting jabbed up or Kamala Harris lifting her shirt or Biden lifting his shirt and getting jabbed up. They're trying to sell it to the mass and the people. Most people are going to fall for it, which most people did. It's the same thing going on here. Elon Musk is trying to sell his product. At the end of the day, yes, he's a billionaire, one of the richest fans on earth, but he's still a fucking salesman. All right. And Elon Musk, Gates, Bug-Eyed, Bezos, are all trying to play the role of God, which brings us to the next precept, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 3 says, Let no man deceive you by any means. And their deception comes by off their cell tactics. How they said, Oh, it's doing so, we're showing off updates, it's doing great. Lo and behold, an, the real update came five days later because you notice that came out December 1st. And the real update came out December 6th, showing you the real progress of the Neuralink, all right? But he's still trying to play God, and he's trying to deceive the people into getting that chip. It says, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first. Of course, except there coming a falling away first goes back to the slavery, which we're still in, right? So it says, let no man deceive you by any means. For that day shall not come, except there be a, there come a falling away first. So we have to be in slavery. When the people is in a state of oppression and depression, usually they're not in the right, right mindset. Usually when you're not in the right mindset, you end up getting deceived. All right. That's why the scriptures say, let no man deceive you. But we are in slavery. We've been deceived for so long, but now we're starting to wake up to these things. You see what I'm saying? So there had to be a falling away first because two thirds still got to get deceived. All right. It says in that man of sin be revealed. And that's what I'm doing right now. All these individuals that I'm popping up, these weirdo, these, uh, let's see if they have a picture of uh, Elon, Elon weirdo. Yeah, here you go. He looked like a fucking weirdo too, man. All these are Edomites. Okay. These are Edomites trying to play the role of God, all right? And it says, in that man of sin be revealed, boom, Esau, the self-proclaimed white man. This is a depiction of what an Edomite would look like. I have to say it like that, of what an Edomite would look like, because all these individuals that you see day to day that may look like white people, may look like Edomites, possibly could be Israelites. Shit, possibly be Elamites. Or whatever, you know, because the world has been mingled so much, you know, so there's there's possibilities. That's why this truth thing, it's not about skin color. It's about the spirit of things. All right. But you can tell in the spirit that these are fucking eat hearts, man. All right. It says the son of perdition. Right. All they're, they're trying to do is chip you and destroy you and control you. All right. So verse four says, who opposeth and exalted himself above all that is called God, right? Putting a brain chip into somebody or putting it in the bloodstream and then saying that they can control things with their mind, you are in itself 
exalting yourself above the Most High, saying, like, look what I can do. I can heal someone from the paralysis. I can make a blind man see. I can make a blind, uh, a deaf man hear. I can make a dumb man speak. You see what I'm saying? By putting this little microorganism or, you know, some nanobots inside their brain to make them work and function. All right, it says, or, or that is worship, so that he, as God, sitteth upon the table, showing himself that he is God. So they are showing themselves that there is some type of power. Obadiah 1 and uh, 3, it says, The pride of thine heart have deceived thee, thou dwellest in the cleft of the rock. Yeah, sitting high and mighty in your pompous, proud state, whose inhabitation is high, um, that saith in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? Yeah, that's that's the audacity of him. All right, the scriptures are showing the audacity of Esau. Okay, yeah, the audacity to, to want to put a neural link in everyone's brain and say that you're going to get it too. The audacity to say, you know, that these, I don't have to go into scalp. It's, it's easy procedure, it's safe and it's quick and it, and it helps out and makes you read your brain control computers your crap the audacity you know what i'm saying but we're in that time all right we're in the time of the Neuralink. all right we're in the time of the art ventures partners and the bezos expedition and gates frontier and we're in the time of the mark of the beast it's here we're about to be out of here we're going to see how shy soon lord willing you know so, Lord willing, this was edifying and give all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Dash, double honors to the apostles and the elders, the great millstone, the and teach well. Peace, love, salutation to the elect, 144 first fruits, brother Kosh Kwan. Until the next time, we'll say Shalom. Like always, repent, for Yahweh Shai is coming back sooner than what me and you believed. Shalom.